right welcome back to the channel um, today we're gonna be tackling something we should have tackled a long time ago we're gonna add an out of bounds area so our player dies when we fall off the edge you get tired of pressing that play and stop key over and over so getting right into it we're gonna start off with uh, creating an empty object I'm gonna call it fall die area you can call it whatever you want but I'm gonna drag it in place and uh, create a box collider 2D. Now I've seen a lot of ways to do this, but um, my whole idea here is simplicity, so we're gonna, stay, we're gonna stick to it. And this is the easiest way I've seen it, so we're gonna run with that. Um, stretch that thing all the way out, and now let's just add a very simple C sharp script. I'm gonna call it out of bounds. You can call it whatever you like, but once again, once we get that thing opened up, we can delete all this stuff here. And this is all you need right here. We got an on collision in a 2D. And that basically checks to see if the player, if the player tag has the player tag on it <laughs> touches that collider and uh, then we have the player health script bringing their health down to zero be sure to save and when you get back to unity go ahead and make sure that fall by area is selected and drag that out of bounds script into it now going back to the script I just kind of want to touch on because I have some different scripts here so we're making our player health go to zero when it touches it so let's go back to our player script here and once I have our player health less than one I have a die function and down here I have the die function obviously it's changing the rigid body to static which makes it so you can't move you don't have to have a debug.log, that's just something that you can see that the animation that this part of the code is working <laughs> when it when it runs. And then I have the animation plan. And so the cool thing about this is if we go back to our player and go to our die animation, I actually added a event key here at the end that calls the level restart script that's in our player script yeah, let me go back and show you here this part here the scene manager load plays at the end of our animation which is kind of cool so you can set how many seconds you want between the last frame of your animation to that code actually executing. So when we go to play, let this load up. Okay. And when we jump off the edge here, boom, boom. Some seconds go by, some type of animation plays. I gotta do a little bit of work on that. But uh, it works. It works even when you know we run out of. Anytime we run out of health, a little weird little animation plays and the game restarts. And that's good news, of course, because that means that when we have enemies, we can take damage, we can die, the game restarts, we can fall off the edge and die. And this is only the beginning. So I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for next time. Peace.